Well, hello, Crime Stoppers. <laughs> There's so much going on, I can't even cover it all. I can't even keep up. And I got too much other stuff happening that's good uh, in, you know, the math and so forth is going quite well and keeping up with that is much more important to me than spending the time it takes for me to make these videos. I know you think it's, oh, he just talks for 15 minutes, but actually it takes a few takes and it takes me time to think about it. And I, you know, anyway, um, so, and actually I have tried to make some videos over the last couple of weeks because, you know, the Republican National Convention and the Democratic National Convention, and I just, it, they haven't come out and I haven't had time and I go long or I, or I screw up and then I, anyway. But this one, it's very simple. Uh, we're going to keep it very short and sweet. Democrat. Democrat. The D in Democrat stands for drone. Drone. Can you say drone, boys and girls? It also might stand for denial. <laughs> See how it's spelled? Denial. D. Deny. Deny. Okay, no. Alright. Uh, anyway, River in Egypt. It's a joke. A little bit of a joke. Anyway, and they, they look, the Democrats even put it in their slogan. They were kind enough to let you know that we're for war. Wait, wait, forward, forward. There's a D. Wait, wait, there's a D. There you go. Backwards, the camera. All right, so, uh, yeah, that's right. You're absolutely right. For war, D. You're for war, D. D, you're for war. I'm telling you, you're for war, D. You support that, man? You're for war. <laughs> and you can say whatever you like. You can say your stinking pile of poo is better than the other stinking pile of poo. But I don't care, D. You for war, right? We, we're droning. We're droning Americans now. Drone a 16-year-old boy. Drone his father. Both American citizens. There's probably more that we don't we don't know about. But we at least got that much more. If we don't, if if there isn't, we're definitely droning kids and babies. We have got collateral damage all over the place. The numbers are piling up. And now we got blowback coming our way. Huge amount of blowback coming in the Middle East. Why would that be? It's because of a movie. It's because of an obscure movie. It's not because of killing Gaddafi and knocking it over and putting a central bank in there and installing a puppet government in Libya. It's not because of Egypt. It's not because of Iraq. It's not because of what's going on in Afghanistan. It's not because of the stories you haven't heard about Bahrain. Um, it's not because of Syria. It's not because of Yemen. It's not because we're on the wrong side of pretty much every conflict down there. It's not because we support, support Israel and, and the apartheid and... Uh, <laughs> just slaughter of Palestinians that's going on down there and they try to make it sound like it's the Palestinians that are killing their poor Israelis. <sighs> it's not because of any of that. It's because of an obscure movie. You guys are drones. You guys sit there in front of your TV. You're drones. You talk about birth control and gay marriage. You don't stop the war. The one guy that wanted to stop the war, he was crazy. <laughs> the one guy that wanted to bring the troops home, that was, that was isolationist and, and insanity and, and crazy talk. That's just crazy talk. We couldn't bring the troops home. You think our troops want to be where they are? You're drones. You're just drones. You got no problem with drones. I got the, the statistics down there. It says that, that suddenly the Democrats, the Magic Negro, has you put to sleep, and it's humanitarian drone war. <laughs> Those drones, you don't have a problem with it. Right? Didn't have much problem with torture either, it seems like. Didn't have problem with torture in the old regime, and the new regime, same, meet the new boss. Pretty much same as the old boss, just took it offshore. Right? Read his papers on rendition. And that rendition is an important part of American policy. You're drones. You're just drones. And you're thinking that your guy is somehow better than the other guy. And this is the other thing, you ridiculous Republicans. You think Romney is any different than, than Obama? You're insane. This is, this is Bush's, you know, it, it will be third and fourth term. You, as, as drones, try and name some policies that Obama repealed. Right? He tried to get indefinite detention through. There's some good news. We have finally had a judge that stood up for the Constitution and said, no, but Obama signed that into law, and they were actually fighting that, tooth and nail, trying to get it so that they could indefinitely detain. I made a comment uh, someplace on a Facebook page a while ago about, uh, you know, presidential authority to detain after acquittal. And they try to make excuses like, oh, it was Bush. That's something Bush did. What are you telling me? That, that Obama has no ability to repeal anything that Bush has done? That Obama just has to continue all of uh, Bush's policies? That, that, he, that he couldn't get rid of? Nope. Okay. No, I mean, emperors of old, if you got acquitted in a court of law, if you got no pope, no emperor, no king uh, said or tried to, to claim the right to be able to detain you until you were dead, detain you, detain you indefinitely. Obama has absolutely uh, lobbied and, and, you know, litigated to have that power. 
And then the National Defense Authorization Act was the, the final straw. And you guys are drones. You're just drones. And, and, even, and the, G, the D is everywhere. N-D-A-A. -A, right? Drones, detention, national defense. The, uh, anyway. Drone. The D in Democrat. Well, let, me, let me just put it up here, boys and girls. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Democrat. Drone. <laughs>